Okay. Hey, it's Travis and Tyler with Miramage Racing. Uh, we're showing off battle tracks today. Uh, we've had it a couple years. We uh, found it down in Portland, Oregon. Um, and it's been sitting in our yard driveway shop for a while. And we put a, yeah, we put a 427 in it with an Allison just to drive it around the yard. And, and uh, then Bill put a blower motor in his tank a year or two ago, however long that's been. And then said that we had to, and we just <laughs> drive it around, start it up every once in a while. You know, we had no plans of doing any shows with it. And then uh, Bill had the great idea to bring all the trucks down and set them up at his, at his shop. So we went and got a blower motor out of the trailer and so put it in. 555. So it's uh, a tall deck, dark block. It's got... Uh, Allison. One of the old blowers, I think, off yeah. of one of the race trucks on it. Found a fuel pump. Got Anything her going. Anything we can find in the trailer just to bring it down with a blower motor. Yeah. But uh, the it's got an Allison tank. transmission. Is the original one that was in there, the keg. Uh, we didn't really change anything. We moved to put a monster truck seat in the driver's seat. Moved the suspension seat over to the passenger seat. And uh, all the wiring seemed to just hook right back up and work. Uh, all the switches still work and the push button starter works. So original hood and bed are tilt up like they did back in the day. And uh, so we've run it uh, all of about 300 feet across Bill's property. And now I think he wants to race. So <laughs> it'll probably happen one day. But for now, we're just down hanging out, run it down. And uh, yeah, we'll see if a competition arises out of this. A Where's couple it? people have been hitting us up on Facebook saying they have old like Battle Tracks t-shirts and uh, stuff like that. So that's really cool. We didn't get much with it other than the old cab over. We still have the doors, the hand painted doors. Um, some of the original business cards were in there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess if you guys have uh, old pictures of it that you like, send them to us. We'd love to see them from back in the day. I know there's a couple videos on YouTube of it running and uh, maybe someday it'll be at a show again. And where's this race going to be held at? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, know. It's going to have to be in Bill's yard or our yard <laughs> for now if we're going to have it anytime soon. Uh -huh. I don't know. We've got 10 acres, so <laughs> we'll either pick. Maybe we'll do a best out of three here and then best out of three at our house. Okay. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll let you know if it, uh, if it, it comes to be. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. So we need to tape over those, maybe see if Bill's just got some duct tape. And we'll... Yeah, that's not doing crap. So. Yeah, yeah. Little, little duct tape. I think it's hopefully suffering for a little while. But yeah, so we just do that. And then the fuel pump, uh, we had that belt turned down because we couldn't get it to slide far enough in the collar. Uh -huh. And so it wasn't working. So I had him push that in. And then, you know, it came down to the drive line, but it broke the yoke. Yeah. Yeah. And then just left well enough alone. You know? That's, that's the same, that's all the same header and everything. Like yeah. yeah. But then we had to put an MSD in because it switched to our oh, distributor. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the same, the tank and all we did was just make this line bigger. And then the only thing we didn't get in it was the water pump, so we just made a bypass house. Uh, yeah, just so that it has water in it. But, Why is it full of Because we, uh, the, that's the ink snout, and it's longer than the ones we use. It must have been on a different type of rock. So yeah, so it's way pushed out, but we spaced the idler out there, a little bit spacer to get it. And then if you look at the bottom, it's almost off the bottom pulley. Oh, but that's wow. as centered as we could get it oh, for the time actually... being without getting a crank spacer. Put on the yeah. bottom and then we'll go. It's actually not that bad, there's hardly anything oh. down there. Yeah, they're three quarters waterproof. Oh. Oh. So we got a lot of it over there. Oh. Just let it go by. And then I went to stop because Dallas was backing me in and he was standing over there. And you just like naturally pull up.